All right, thank you, Joe. Well, Hurricane Sandy has already wreaked havoc along the Jersey Shore. She's definitely headed our way now, bringing de high winds and rain with her. Shimon County leaders say they're ready for it and they want you to be prepared too. County Executive Tom Santulli says he's waiting to see what Sandy brings before declaring a state of emergency. But until then, be prepared. WENY TV's Walter Smith Randolph has, tells us about people who are bracing for Sandy and picks up the story. <laughs> As the rain intensifies and the wind picks up, neighbors across Shimon County are preparing for an unwanted guest. As we're prepared, I don't know what it's going to do, but we'll take what comes. Be prepared. Shimon County Executive Tom Santulli says that's a good idea. I would rather be overprepared than underprepared. I'd rather uh, err on the part of safety uh, than, than ego. No egos here at the Jubilee Grocery Store in Horseheads. Yesterday uh, we ran short on bread. We weren't completely out. Water we were out of for about an hour, but thank thankfully with the local suppliers that we have here, we were back in business within about an hour's time frame. We actually did send a truck and go pick some up ourselves. Good thing because people are stocking up. I don't truthfully think it's going to hit as bad as they're saying. You know, who's to say, but I'm... You know, we're prepared anyway, whether it does or not. But. Shoppers are grabbing the essentials. Bread, water, soup, chili, stuff like that. But essentials vary depending on who you ask. Your bread and water, that's it. The consensus is being prepared is key, especially if a state of emergency is declared. But that decision won't come until much later tonight. But by then, it may be too late to go get what you need. Reporting in Horseheads, Walter Smith Randolph, WENY TV News. In Evansboro in Pennsylvania and Tioga County, New York are under a state of emergency, but Shimon County officials say they're waiting to see what damage is done before making that decision. If a state of emergency is declared, that means only business travel throughout the county and virtually everything would shut down. Of course, we'll have information if and when it becomes available.